G'day, welcome to Matt's workshop. In the last video we looked at all the planning and uh, preparation for building your own laser machine and uh, we've decided on the machine that I'm going to build that the cutting area will be 1300 by 900 millimeters and uh, the laser tube is going to be about uh, 1250 millimeters long so we need to design something to house all that uh, equipment. So part of the process of uh, designing a machine is getting a good plan and that goes the same for the frame. So the software that I used is from a company called Maytech and I downloaded this from frameexpert.com. So this program called uh, Frame Expert from Maytech is a uh, program that's used to design the uh, frames for your extrusion and I'm up to about uh, version 5 of my design and this is it here. So it's a very easy program to use. So we're able to select the type of extrusion that we want to build the machine from. And in my case, I use the 30 millimeter, 30 by 30. So it's very easy to place objects on the design. And if you wanted to remove an object, you can do so very easily. You can move it in certain directions, uh, bring it out in, etc., and delete the item if you don't want it or you misplaced it. So it's very easy to use and uh, this is not the final design but uh, this is a start. I'm going to be uh, changing a few things and obviously I haven't finished the full enclosure or the lid but this is stage one and that's part of the benefit of designing your own machine is that you can do it in stages that suit you and your budget. You'll notice at the top here you get a bill of materials. So this is the bill of materials that's exported out of the software and as you can see you get a, uh, a good uh, image of what the machine's going to look like. You've got all the parts here, they're 30 by 30 profile. So you get all the measurements here. This one's going to be uh, 2 meters long and uh, by 1445 millimeters wide. So that's the uh, parts list and then you go into the isometric views and you've got uh, elevation and uh, plan views there as well as exploded views with the numbered parts of each component. So I thought I'd just give you this to uh, have a look at. Uh, it's probably not the best CAD designing software out there but this came in extremely helpful and at the right price of free. So once you have your bill of materials you've got all the cutting lengths here. You can take that to your supplier of your aluminium T-slot extrusion to have it all cut out to length or as I've chose to do the cutting myself here in the workshop. Now I thought I'd just give a quick plug to Australia MK Group or MK Aluminium. You'll find them on the website mklu.com. This is where I got all my aluminium T-slot extrusions. They have a huge range of uh, products there including all different profiles. If you have your cut list they'll cut them to length for you. I chose to take 2 meter and 2.5 meter lengths of the 30-30 profile and uh, very quick prompt service, very happy and was on my way. So now let's get cutting. Okay, so I've got the uh, Ryobi power saw set up with a brand new blade. I bought a blade to cut the uh, aluminium T-slot. The good thing with this uh, Ryobi power saw, it's a nice big blade so it can cut uh, six of these with ease and it's got the laser line there and it's uh, been extremely accurate always considering safety when using a saw making sure it's all square locked away and I put some safety glasses on which I've got laser safety glasses lying everywhere but uh, they're a bit too tinted for what I want to do here we go All right, so I've got my plan and uh, I'm going to start assembling. So rather than bore you with the whole assembly process, basically we got some sliding bolts and nuts and we put the whole thing together with some uh, angle brackets and it comes together quite quickly. I say quite quickly, but it took me several hours. And as you see here, I've already put the X and Y rails on there. That's part of the next video that's coming up. So stay tuned for that. But the whole process uh, took um, nearly a whole day and uh, I'm quite happy with the result. So thanks for visiting Matt's workshop. So with this video, my goal was to give you an idea on how to build a frame for your laser machine, making sure you get all the dimensions right and that it's gonna fit in the area that you wanna work with. So I use the 3030 profile. There's some changes that I need to make to it and uh, obviously complete the plan and um, the housing. And then we'll look at putting uh, the uh, outside of the enclosure in place. 
So in the next video, like I mentioned, I'll be demonstrating how to assemble the inner sliding rails from CloudRay Laser. If you haven't already subscribed, press the uh, subscribe button below and the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos in this laser build series. In the description below, you'll also find CloudRay Laser's website, as well as the link to FrameExpert, the software that I used to uh, design this laser machine. You'll also see there that I've got a lot of social media links and some information on the parts that I use. And until next time, take care. Cheers.